Hey guys, Mike Avename here, and we are at my drum studio in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm going to be talking about the Alicia 500 series modules. Now, I've been lucky enough to be a part of the Alicia on tour. They've been sending this rack around the world to great producers, mixers, engineers, all sorts of people. Uh, and it's finally landed with me. So I just thought what better way to check out all the modules and to record some drums and then run everything back through it. So in the usual fashion, uh, I'm going to show you some drums of just the raw recordings through my gear. And then I'm going to run back through the unit. So probably do kick, snare, overheads and rooms, and then an overall mix through all of the modules. You'll see the modules pop up on the screen and I'll write the names and all the things that you need to know. So uh, first, let's have a listen to the drums on their own and, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, what I'm looking for here is to get some punch and the envelope is such an amazing unit because you can dial in a specific frequency and hit that with the attack and sustain. So it's like an EQ transient designer. Check it out. Okay, next on the character 500, I'm trying to dial in some distortion to give some character to the kick drum, and then I'll uh, blend it in. Now we add in some X filter, Obviously, just some uh, top EQ and bottom EQ, maybe clean up the mids a little. Now I'm going to add in the Expressor. This unit is so great because it doesn't really add any color, but it's got so much vibe. And then check out the bypass right here. Now I want some real push from the snare drum. So this envelope 500 just incredible it's unlike any other transient designer check out how you can pick the frequency you want to push it at now that we've got the transient styled in let's get some color
that X filter in there and dial in some uh, tops and also some low end. I always start with compression because I just want to see how it grabs the cymbals. And I use ribbon mics a lot for overhead, so this X filter really helps with clearing out the mud in the middle, usually around 500 or something like that. Let's get this sustain cranking. You can also see that I've taken the EQ mode out so we can really just get it slamming. I always get a lot of vibe from my uh, room mics in my tracking session, so this character really helps for that. And then push this compressor super hard again for more sustain.
see that all of these units add something really special together. Obviously, they're just crazy good. Well, what do you think? I know it's awesome. I hope you know it's awesome. Go check out everything you possibly can that they make. They make these really great cube units that you can travel around with if you don't necessarily have a big 500 rack or a studio to run it out of. You can take it with your Apollo, patch it in, get some really great stuff. I'm a ginormous fan of outboard gear. I love what it does to everything. So, you know, obviously, I'm going to push you to buy some outboard gear. Anyway, I'm Mike Avenay. Hope you had a great time and uh, see you soon.